When you're ready to create a loop, just go over to the right and click Add Loop. The first step to adding a new loop is to name it. Now, if you're working with a listing, you'll want to name the loop the property address. If you're working with buyers, go ahead and name the loop the buyer's names. You can always change it to the property address once a property has been chosen. This allows you to have one loop per closing instead of multiple loops per closing. I'm going to name my loop after my buyers, Bob and Betty Buyers. Once my loop is named, we'll click continue onto the loop template. Now, I'm only going to have loop templates available if my office has created them for me. Next up, I can add a photo. You can add a photo of the property or of your clients. And then once you click done, Dot Loop's going to create the loop for you. Let's go ahead and view the loop. Now I have a place to work with Bob and Betty and add documents, add Bob and Betty to the loop, and add any necessary tasks.